Uh, does your job or education make you more attractive to the type of men you want? Does your job or education make you more attractive to the type of men that you want? We'll start with you on this one. Like a man's job and education? No, no does yours, your job my... or education make you attractive to the type of man that you want? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so? What do you think? A hundred percent, yes. You think it does? What do you think? I think so. What do you think? Yes. You're based as hell. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, ladies. It really, so the guys that y'all want, that's what we're talking about. He said you want. The guys that y'all want are the exception, are the badass dudes, okay? I promise you they don't f***ing care about your career or your education. And I, I actually think it's a red flag whenever guys care about that. The last time I cared about that because I was making too little money. The second I started making really good money, I never gave a f*** about what a girl or her education or anything was because I know I'm going to cover anything. So it's just like I actually think it's a red flag when a guy like really cares about what a, like a woman's career is. And stuff. I want her to be smart. Like my girl had her had her bachelor's degree by the time she was 20 years old. I thought that was very admirable. I like that about her. So, I mean, I don't think being stupid is a good thing. You know, like, don't be dumb. And I and I, and well, like and like I'm still helping my girl go through college like she's trying to get nursing now done. And I'm pushing her to get that done, because if we ever break up or if anything happens, I want her to be able to have a career to be able to fall back on. That's a good career. But you know she has morals. She, you know she's educated in a way. So yes, it matters. Well, like like I said though, it's not the the thing is it doesn't lead. It's not the leading foot. The leading foot that got her in a relationship with me was not those things. Gotcha. There was literally like probably five or six other things that were the reason why I was like, okay, you're you're getting locked in right now. It had nothing to do with her job or her education at all. I thought this was asking how we want. Oh men. yeah, well, no no, it's like, asking. Me, wait wait, click it again, bro. Me and said, my education and my. Does your job or education make you more attractive mm -hmm. to the type of man that you want? Oh, okay. Okay. And, uh, my answer is still the same. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she, I guess she's still kind of based. All right. No, thank you. Thank you, man. Um, uh, next up. So we're... I got a question for yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Like uh, for the ladies that said that it does, um, that is important or it is attractive. How does your education or your career benefit him? If it's the guy that you want. So mind you, yeah. earlier in the conversation, I heard a couple of y'all say you want a rich man. How does your job or your education benefit this rich man that uh, is a provider, as we talked about earlier in the show as well? I, I f my role. I got to go pee real quick, but go yeah, through with good. this, Donnie. <laughs> you're good. I'll start. Um, so I actually didn't say anything about a rich man. I said someone who makes equal or more, whatever. Um, so I think for me, when I'm looking for a guy, I do – take into consideration their education. Did you go to college? So obviously if I'm doing that for a man, I think that he would be doing the same as me. Oh, what did you do after high school? Did you, did you go to college? Do you have a degree? Cause I think it does matter if y'all are both at the same type of pay grade. If the man is rich, okay, he's rich, he's providing. But if I'm looking for someone and I'm okay with someone who's making the same as me, yeah, I think both, it matters both ways. What did you do with your career, education, career, and what am I doing with mine? Okay. I'm going to circle back around in years, but I want to hear the rest of the ladies as well. Um, I think, like, my education could bring, like, insights. Like, if he, you know, needs advice on something he's struggling with, if, you know, whatever I went through, whether it was in school or, like, life, my education will bring value, you know, if, to the circumstances that he goes through on a day-to-day -day, if he needs advice or, you know, like, a different point of view. What did you say you were getting a master's in? Uh, Me? Yeah. I'm getting a MBA, business MBA. admin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the lady next to you that was just speaking? Um, I have my bachelor's, bachelor's? And, oh, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm a business administration and management. Okay. okay. Cool. So I think it holds a lot of value. So like when I, you know, have hold these conversations with potential guys, like they need to be at a certain we need to be at a certain level, financially, educationally, mentally. So it does matter because they're looking for something that they can, you know, kind of latch on to, right? And that doesn't mean that they, I have to be better than them or they have to be better than me, but it's just something that we can connect on. So somebody who is maybe not as on the same educational, financial level as me, we're, how are we going to connect? So in my personal opinion, it does matter. Okay. And uh, what did you master in, or what, is, what was your uh, major? I have an undergrad in business admin concentration in marketing. Okay. Um, well, I did. I disagreed with the ladies uh, in the previous question, which I didn't. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think that it does matter 
but I don't think that I've ever dated a man that's cared about what my education level was or what my job was. I think it more so mattered where my mindset was and whether or not I can be a crutch for them in, in the way that they need a woman. Yeah. Okay, cool. No, that was actually so, a really good answer. So what? I want to go back to, um, this is kind of ties to uh, quite a few of the answers, but as well, like the uh, Emily, I know you mentioned that, you know, you're looking for a guy with the education. If you're an educated woman, you want them to be on the same thing. Like if you're looking for, uh, for a guy that's educated, you're, lo- you're expecting him to look for something in return, the same thing. Is that correct? Yes. And that yeah. doesn't mean education like, oh, you have to have a bachelor's. It could be, oh, you're educated. You're educated, yeah, smarts. In, yeah. you're educated yeah. in something else, like something you don't have to go yeah. to college for. It could be welding. It could be literally anything. Um, yeah, have some but kind of not skill. just like out here scamming while well, I have a whole bachelor master's degree, you know, yeah. not out here just like scamming people, selling drugs like I'm, I'm good. Yeah. So the guy just has to have some kind of skill, yeah. right, to yeah. kind of make money, uh, stuff like that. Cool, cool, cool. Well, one thing, would it be surprising to you all if I told you that that uh, attraction is not symmetrical between men and women, like w- things that we look for in a woman is not the exact same in return, like the things you want to look for in a mm-hmm. guy. Like, for example, as Sergio mentioned earlier today, our, we're visual creatures. We like to look at uh, a woman's beauty. That's why you all wear, wear makeup. Am I correct about that? I think that only goes so far. <laughs> well, but you, ultimately, Looks you will say that, so that you would agree that most men are visual creatures. Yeah, that's, that's what we're the attracted first, to. That's the first thing you see. That's right? the thing that's that the gets you in the door. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. But we can't really say the same for most women, though. Right. Women, women look for men that are, that have success, that have money, you know, they're providers, maybe security, you know, like, do we look for a woman that has, that can provide us security? F- no. Men, men, like, we're not looking for you to wake up in the middle of the night and take on the burglar that breaks into the house. <laughs> yeah. Women, right? w- women are sex so. objects to men and men, and men are success objects to women. That's so, like, we, 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 we look, we look for things completely opposite, but that I always trying to explain is that like, you know, y'all may perceive it sometimes you're like, oh. I really want this. So that means that he must want that. We, we constantly project in society today. We constantly are like, this is what uh, another big subject. We're not going to, we're not talking about it yet, but we want to talk about it a little bit, but like cheating, like that's something where it's just like, Oh no, if he cheated, that means all this stuff. And it's like, once we really break down like the whole cheating thing, sometimes it's very much based off of how you see cheating. And you might find out that a man sees it completely different. Sometimes like sometimes we're not nearly the same as you think we are until you start breaking it down and be like, wait, Oh, wow. A study said that it said that men actually thought that, you know, it's like, whoa, holy shit, we're not that how we thought. And don't don't get us wrong. We're not saying don't get an education because, I mean, women Obviously, now today, yeah. are, there's like you have it like 60 percent of women that are actually college edu- educated. 60 percent like, of graduates are college educated yeah. at this point. Yeah. Yep. And, and so we're not or saying 60% that, of you women. know, definitely go pursue like those kind of things. But don't think like, oh, because I'm getting these things or, oh, because I have this money, this is going to make me more attractive to the man that I want. You know, like, especially if most women, again, most women are chasing the same man, a high caliber man that's, you know, making money that can provide for them. I feel, you know, yeah, I feel like you're 100 percent right. Like you can want that, but the guy can always win you over. You can always win over the guy. Right. Like it's always like there's always a winning factor in there. But do we pursue it? Yes. <laughs> now, is that a, a contributing factor? Yeah, but it's not a necessity. Okay. 